Good morning, everyone. It has been a long minute since I posted up a video, but it's mid-December. Winter is here, as you can see. It's the late season for deer hunting, and uh, so everything is quiet. All the pressure of all the different seasons here in Minnesota. The deer are in their super secret spots, and uh, I came out a couple times to try and capitalize on what they call the second rut, but didn't see anything. Today, I'm out on a short scouting mission. We just had a mini snowstorm come through this past weekend. Dropped about a foot of snow, and so this is the perfect time to do some late season scouting. And you just gotta keep in mind that the deer live in different areas throughout the different seasons, and so, uh, this might not be their wintering area. It might not hold deer in the winter time because of cover, because of food. Uh, they transition from summer to fall in different areas of their home range, but it's a good time. Fresh snow, snow's only about three days old. So if there's any tracks, any trails, you'll be able to see if there's still any deer in the area. And uh, you know, with the snow on the ground, all the leaves are gone it's a good time to come out and scout because you can also see what the terrain looks like. You can see all the crevices and the ravines and the benches and all that good stuff. And it's a good time to see where all the trails cross, where they cross in different ravines. You'll, you'll be able to find that out and see it in the snow and in the terrain. So I'm not deer hunting today. Uh, it's just gonna be, like I said, a quick scouting trip. I got a couple cameras I gotta grab before the season. My wife is due any day now, so I gotta uh, get my stuff, get out of the woods, and uh, don't wanna miss the birth of our baby. So, gotta get back home. But I did bring my 22, so I saw a lot of squirrels while I was out hunting this fall. So, if I run into a squirrel, I'm gonna try and take one home. So, come along. You know, there's also something pretty, pretty magical about hunting in the winter time with snow on the ground. It just changes up, you know, the whole area, just changes up the scenery. It's so peaceful and quiet. All right, so I'm almost at the top. Oh, there's a squirrel. There's a squirrel right there. Side, which is good. But I can't see because it's getting foggy. These winter squirrels, you gotta be super, super slow because you, they can see you from far away. 
and if you just kind of walk really slow sometimes even if they see you they'll just kind of perch up and just kind of watch you so you gotta take it really slow be patient fell here I think he bounced over here he's probably hiding under here somewhere all right I found him under this log so winter squirrels if you're hunting squirrels in the winter time they're mostly active when it's a warmer day in the winter time and today it's supposed to get up to about 40 mid 40s today and uh, the cold front's gonna come through in the next couple of days so a warm day like this is a perfect day to come out to do some squirrel hunting small game hunting just to get out and get some exercise in because uh because in the winter time you got to stay active so we got one squirrel down we'll see if we can get a couple more but the warmest part of the day is when these squirrels are most active and you'll find them on the ground a lot in the winter time because Obviously, there's nothing up in the trees, and so they got to go and dig up their stash of food that's in the ground. So they're mostly going to be on the ground, hopping around. All right, so looks like within the last couple of days, there's been some other hunters up in this area. Us peasants, we got to fight with the other hunters on public land, so... Hopefully, they didn't shoot all the squirrels. This is what you want to see. Squirrel tracks. And this is also what you want to look for. They're digging up their old acorns that they hid in the fall. As you can see, they're still digging around. So that's a good sign. All right, so as you can see, there's been snow on the ground for about three days. You see all these trails, all these tracks. Some deer tracks mixed in with a lot of turkey. So it must be a good turkey cruising area. It's good to note for the turkey season. Here's how you can tell if a nest is still being used. There's the nest. If you follow it down to the trunk, and you look, you see all these squirrel tracks. So, this guy's still here. All right, look what I found. A blood trail. There's a bed up there. And there was a bed about 50 yards behind me. Ooh, squirrel. Anyway, a fox squirrel just came by me, but I lost him down here somewhere. See this blood trail here? Let's see. It's gone a long ways. You can see it's stood right there for a while. Looks like uh, you can see some Looks like some fat in it too, chunks of fat. But it came from down there, or it's going down that way. I think it came from, yeah, it came from that side. You can see it going down there. All right, here's a good sized bed. It's probably a buck, because uh, it's a decent size bed. Here's my tripod <clears throat> that's my tripod extended to about four feet so good sized buck all right this is gonna do it for me i got one score up today saw a couple i scouted out this area 
got to see what this area holds in the winter time there's still some deer here but it's just nice to get out got my cameras and uh so it's time to go home just want to thank everyone for following me this year on my adventures this is going to be it for the for the year like i said uh, my wife and i are expecting another kid in about a week or so any day now so i will um, be home taking care of the baby until next year so we will see you guys uh, in 2022 thanks for coming along on all of my adventures this year thanks for supporting i really appreciate all you guys uh, all your support and you guys watching so stay tuned we got 2022 coming up and uh can't wait to take you guys along so we'll see you guys on the next one